Stop everything you're doing right now. Beneath the waves, there's a world more mysterious than the surface of Mars. A realm so extreme, so alien, that only three humans in history have ever witnessed it. And what they discovered will rewrite everything we know about life on Earth. And here's the kicker. Before we even dive in, one image from these trenches stops scientists dead. A shape that shouldn't exist. Not a fish, not a rock. Something impossible. We'll get there. But first, let's see how we even got these shots. This is not a documentary. This is a confession about the most shocking geographical secrets ever hidden from humanity. I'm your guide at our channel, where mystery meets science. And today, we're diving 36,000 feet down to uncover the X factor of the abyss. Buckle up, this is gonna be wild. Let me break down just how insane these ocean trenches are. First up, the Mariana Trench. It's deeper than Mount Everest is tall, 11 kilometers straight down. The pressure? Enough to crush a titanium tank. 1,000 times what you're feeling right now. Darkness, absolute, total, beyond imagination. But that's not all. The Puerto Rico Trench, 8,376 meters, hides in the Atlantic with cliffs taller than skyscrapers. The Tonga Trench, 10,882 meters, sits on the Pacific Ring of Fire, surrounded by volcanic fury. These aren't just holes. They're portals to another world. More humans have walked on the moon, 12, than have reached the bottom of these trenches. Only three have made it, two in 1960, one in 2012. That's how extreme this is. Quick question, what do you think is scarier? The Mariana Trench or outer space? Comment below. I'm reading everyone. The ocean's been hiding its X factor from us, and it's more terrifying than we ever imagined. This isn't just exploration, this is human obsession. Let's rewind to 1960. Two crazy explorers, Jacques Carr and Don Walsh, crammed into a steel ball called Trieste. They dropped 10,916 meters into the Mariana Trench, five hours down, 20 minutes on the bottom. They saw a flat plane, a few fish, and proved we could survive. But the tech? Barely there. They were one crack away from death. Fast forward to 2012. James Cameron, yes, Titanic James Cameron, went solo. His deep sea challenger hit 10,898 meters. He stayed three hours, filmed in 3D, and said it was like landing on the moon. Desolate, alien, haunting. But the real game changer came in 2019 with Victor Vescovo. His mission was pure madness. Dramatic reconstruction, sub dives, lights pierce the dark. He hit every major trench in one year, Mariana, Puerto Rico, Tonga, you name it. Cost, $100 million. Survival probability, nearly zero. Each dive pushed the limits. Titanium hulls, foam floats, lights brighter than a stadium. But the risk was real. In 2023, the Titan sub imploded at half this depth. Five souls gone in a blink. Vescovo's team knew the stakes, but they kept going. Why? 
because the ocean's X Factor was calling, and they were about to answer. Forget everything you know about life. Down here, evolution went rogue. First up, amphipods. Imagine shrimp on military-grade steroids, up to 30 centimeters long, built to scavenge in the dark. Next, the Mariana snailfish. Transparent, no scales, built for apocalyptic pressures, 8,000 meters down, it just vibes. Here's a fact you'll tell your friends. The Mariana snailfish can survive pressure that would turn your bones to dust. But get this, it's got a chemical in its blood that could one day save human lives. Scientists are studying it for surgery drugs. Life from the abyss might save yours. Then, the real showstoppers, bioluminescent monsters. Glowing, pulsing, absolutely unreal. These creatures survive in conditions that would instantly kill any human. 1,000 atmospheres, near freezing temps, no light. How? They've got proteins that defy physics, antifreeze in their blood, bodies like jelly to flex under stress. Which creature freaked you out more? The amphipod or the snailfish? Drop your vote in the poll. The X Factor? They might hold the key to life's origins. More on that soon. But here's where it gets dark. We found human trash at 10,994 meters. A plastic bag, a soda can, even microplastics in the sediment. Our pollution has reached the most remote place on Earth. Scientists tested the amphipods. They've got plastic in their guts. This isn't just sad, it's a warning. The ocean's a mirror, reflecting our mess back at us. And it gets worse. Those vents we saw, they're dying. Climate change, warmer waters, less oxygen is choking them. The X factor here isn't just life, it's death. We're killing the abyss before we even understand it. Now, let's get wild. Those microbes in the vents. Scientists say they're older than dinosaurs, maybe even the first life on Earth. But here's the X factor. What if there's more down there? Some experts think the trenches could hide complex life. Think squid the size of whales or creatures we can't even imagine. Why? The vents pump energy, food for life, in a place nothing else can touch. In 2024, a study found DNA traces in trench sediment, DNA that doesn't match any known species. Could there be an ecosystem we've never seen? The ocean's 95% unexplored. Down there, anything's possible. Our missions touched the Bermuda Triangle. At 4,400 meters, Vescovo sub grazed its edge. Sonar detected something insane. Impossible straight lines, structures that shouldn't exist, shapes defying scientific explanation. Shipwrecks? Maybe. Hundreds have vanished here. Lost cities? Some say Atlantis lies in the triangle, or something else. Alien tech? Secret bases? The sub didn't stop. Too risky. But these scans are all we've got. The Bermuda Triangle swallowed planes, ships, even subs. Now it's teasing us with this X Factor, and we might never know the truth. These are the final images we might ever see. And here's the chilling reality. They don't want us to go back. The cost? $100 million per dive. More than a blockbuster movie. The risk? Almost certain death. And the truth? Too terrifying to reveal. Let's break it down. The pressure down there doesn't play. 1,000 atmospheres, enough to crush you in a millisecond. The Titan sub-disaster in 2023 proved it. Five lives gone, crushed before they could scream. Funding's vanishing faster than Arctic ice. Governments are bailing. Space gets the cash. Mars gets the hype. But it's more than money. After those Bermuda scans, whispers started. Governments, scientists, someone scared. What did they see that's too terrifying to reveal? The ocean's X factor isn't just life or trash. It's a truth we're not ready for. We've got the tech to go back, but do we have the guts? These aren't just images. They're a window into a world more alien than any planet. A challenge to everything we understand about life. Those microbes in the vents? Scientists think life on Earth started there. Not on land, 
not in shallow seas, but in the abyss. The X Factor isn't just what's down there, it's what it means for us. But we're losing it. Trash, climate, fear, it's all closing the door. And now, this truth, too terrifying to reveal. What else is waiting in the darkness?